Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a Windows keyboard in Mac OS and correct the placement of the option and command modifier keys. Now, just as a little setup here, typically on Windows keyboards, you're gonna see Control on the left, the Windows key in the center, and then Alt on the right. Now, on a Mac keyboard, typically Option is gonna be in the center, and command is gonna be on the right. You know, you can plug in any Windows keyboard into a, a Mac computer and just use it right out of the box. The problem is command is gonna become uh, the Windows key. You know, for example, here I'm working in Logic Pro, but this could apply to any Mac application. We just, you know, mainly do uh, music production tutorials on this channel if you're not into music production. But I also use Premiere Pro almost every single day on a Mac. And so I want these keys to be swapped. So just to demonstrate here, if I'm holding the middle key, you can see it brings up the marquee tool. And so in Logic, holding the command key will access your uh, secondary tool. I can, you know, do command C to copy, command V to paste. But all of this is done from the middle modifier, which feels really weird to me. And the same thing goes for Alt. If I hold Alt, it basically has the option function, which I don't want. So let me show you real quick how to correct this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your system settings. You can go up to the Apple, go to system settings, and then you're just gonna search up keyboard. And then under the uh, keyboard options, you're going to go to keyboard shortcuts. And then you're gonna go down to modifier keys. Now, make sure that you have the correct device selected here. You can see I've got a MIDI controller in here, I've got a gaming mouse, and then I've got my Logitech G512 mechanical gaming keyboard. What I wanna do is I wanna make the option key become the command key, and I want the command key to become the option key. I'll just click done, and now what you can see is when I press the middle key, this becomes option. So I can hold option to duplicate regions over just like so. I can hit Command Z to undo. But the problem now is the keys are labeled wrong on the keyboard. They're in the right place. So that's gonna be, you know, it's gonna feel really familiar to me. Um, but what's great about a lot of these gaming keyboards is you can actually pull the keycaps off. And so what I do is I take my Alt key and I put it where Option needs to be. And I take my Windows key and I put that where Command needs to be. And so I find this a really helpful way to take any Windows keyboard that has removable caps and convert it into something that's a little bit easier to use in Mac OS. And if you're a Mac user, you already know that mechanical gaming keyboards for Mac are extremely rare. Like they're really hard to find and they're usually pretty expensive. I was able to get something like this at like Walmart, you know, for a, a pretty reasonable price. I don't exactly remember what the price was, but the simple fact that it's a, a mechanical gaming keyboard means that I'm going to get better durability. I mean, I'm working in Logic and Premiere on a Mac five or six days every single week, and I cannot tell you how many keyboards I have gone through and how many mice and how many trackpads I've gone through over the years. So for me, this is like the best setup. I've got something that's a heck of a lot more durable. I like the mechanical keys. They're easier to type on. They're better for my wrists and my, my arms. Um, and then just having the removable keys takes it one step further because I can customize the keyboard to use in my Mac applications. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.